Volkswagen has built on the success of the five-seat Tiguan with this larger, seven-seat brother called the Tiguan Allspace. In doing so, the German brand has moved into the seven-seat SUV market, rivaling established contenders such as the Hyundai Santa Fe, Nissan X-Trail and Skoda Kodiak. Compared to the five-seat Tiguan, the Allspace gets a 109mm stretch between the front and rear axle lines, and it's longer overall by 215mm. This means there's room for an additional pair of seats in the extended boot. The headlines are that the luggage area has been expanded to 700 litres with the front two rows of seats in place, expanding up to 1,775 litres with the final two rows folded down. The standard Tiguan offers 615 and 1,655 litres respectively. There's also 60 millimetres more legroom for passengers behind the front seats, so even in five-seater mode the Allspace is a roomier vehicle than the standard Tiguan. Extra bulk has been successfully disguised the Tiguan Allspace might be bigger, but it doesn't look it. Even the entry-level version rides on 17-inch wheels, and some clever styling tricks have also been employed. So. It has a different bonnet line, side window shapes and a new set of headlamps. You can also specify it in faux off-road form. The Tiguan Allspace Outdoor Pack gets you chunky restyled bumpers, and additional protection on the underside of the car. Given that it's available with optional all-wheel drive, it will at least back up those hunky looks with some genuine ability. And in fact, VW is predicting that its 4Motion four 4-wheel four drive system will feature on what's projected to be the most popular model the 2.0-litre TDI 150-horsepower Sainaf 6-speed manual. A wide variety of engines and tech the Tiguan Allspace are offered with two TSI petrol and three TDI diesel engines, ranging from 150 horsepower to 240 horsepower. The two petrol engines are turbocharged, and are offered in 150 and 180 horsepower forms, while the three turbo diesels develop 150. 190 and 240 horsepower. All are Euro 6 compliant, with the diesels needing add blue. Model designations start at a higher level than the 5 seat Digan and consist of Sainaf, Sol, and the sporty R line trim. Regardless of trim, each Tigan Allspace will come with three zone climate control, adaptive cruise control, Satnaf and Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility. Standard safety equipment includes automatic post collision braking system. Car holds brakes on following a collision lane assist front assist with city emergency braking function pedestrian monitoring what's the VW Tiguan North Space like to drive? We've had a chance to sample two 2.0 litre TDI diesel so far, one with 150 horsepower and the other with twin turbochargers, making 240 horsepower. VW is expecting roughly 95% of all spaces to be diesel. The former diesel engine, coupled with the manual gearbox, is set to be the best selling in the UK. It's a capable unit but one that could do with being significantly less noisy. We couldn't really tell the difference in refinement between this engine in the Skoda Kodiak and Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace, despite the substantial price difference between the two. We enjoyed the 240 horsepower diesel, which feels far punchier to drive, as you'd expect with so much extra performance. It's a lot more expensive than the base 150 horsepower engine, however, and only available on top spectrums to boot. How about the handling? There's perhaps a very slight difference in the Allspace's handling. The extra distance between front and rear axles means it feels more solid and composed, especially when negotiating mid-corner bumps. We've tried models with and without adaptive suspension fitted, and note that the latter deals with sharp ruts and potholes in the road with greater composure. Good practicality but not as spacious as the Kodiak the extra length has brought about greater boot space and two extra seats in the Tiguan Allspace, however it's still not enough to compete with the cheapest Skoda Kodiak to which the Volkswagen is heavily related to. For example, the final row of seats isn't quite as spacious in the Tiguan Allspace, they're wholly unsuitable for anyone over 5 apostrophe 2, and their luggage capacity with all 7 seats in place also falls behind. The verdict for those looking for a mid-size 7 seat SUV. The Tiguan Allspace is an interesting proposition. Its looks belie its additional practicality, and in many ways, it's a great option for those who want a seven-seater that doesn't look like an, er, uh, seven-seater. However, its biggest problem comes from in-house. The Skoda Kodiak is more practical and significantly cheaper, yet isn't noticeably inferior to drive nor does it feel cheaply made. 
If you like the Tiguan but want a little more space, the Allspace is an accomplished car. However, the Kodiak is still the best 7-seater in this class. Two petrol engines and three diesels no hybrids or pure electric models choice of manual or DSG automatic gearbox the Volkswagen Tiguan's engine range consists of two petrols and three diesels. Available with a choice of manual or DSG automatic gearboxes and two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace petrol engines The base 1.4 litre TSI petrol engine in the Tiguan Allspace produces 150 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque, giving a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 9.5 seconds and top speed of 124 miles per hour, 123 miles per hour in DSG auto form. If you fancy a little more punch, at the expense of fuel economy, the 2.0-litre TSI engine produces a chunky 180 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque. Enough for a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 8.2 seconds and a top speed of 129 miles per hour Volkswagen Tiguan or Space Diesel engines blending excellent fuel economy and a reasonable turn of speed. The base 2.0-litre TDI diesel engine boasts 150 horsepower and 340 newton meters of torque. That means it's good for a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 9.8 seconds and a top speed of 126 miles per hour, 124 miles per hour with DSG Auto. Most Digan or Space drivers will go for this engine and it's not hard to see why. There's little difference in real world pace compared to the Pokia 190 horsepower diesel engine, while the healthy amounts of torque on offer are well suited to a large SUV. The 190 horsepower 2.0 litre diesel engine produces 400 newton meters of torque and accelerates from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 8.6 seconds. Top speed is 130 miles per hour. Finally, if you're after the most powerful Tiguan or space that money can buy, the 240 horsepower 2.0 litre by TDI engine provides hot hatch levels of performance from Volkswagen's big SUV. The sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour takes just 6.7 seconds, while top speed is 142 miles per hour torque is rated at a substantial 500 newton meters. Volkswagen Tiguan All Space Gearbox Options Customers have a choice between a 6-speed manual gearbox and a 7-speed DSG automatic in the Tiguan All Space. The former is nice to use and has a relatively short, slick action that makes it easy to change through the gears. Meanwhile, the DSG automatic is smooth but can be hesitant, especially when pulling away sharply from a standstill. Moving the gear selector into sport helps alleviate this but can harm fuel economy. Safe and predictable handling surprisingly maneuverable capable tow car as you'd expect, all Tiguan all spaces handle in a broadly similar manner to the regular Tiguan. That means high levels of grip and predictably when cornering, but little in the way of excitement. All four motion or wheel drive models come as standard with Volkswagen's driver profile selection allowing the user to cycle through four different drive modes, Eco, Comfort, Normal and Sport. Each individual mode tweaks throttle response, steering weight, gearbox settings and, on cars fitted with dynamic chassis control, DCC, how firm the suspension is. R-Line models came with sports suspension, firmer, and lowered by 15mm, as standard but we've yet to try these versions in the UK. Safe and stable, with plenty of grip driven at a normal pace the Tiguan Allspace inspires plenty of confidence, providing bags of grip and traction with surprising levels of maneuverability for such a big car. We'd advise against getting too carried away, mind, as for all its grip and stability there's still noticeable amounts of body roll, when the body of the car leans out of the corner, if you push the car hard through bends. Turning into a tight bend yields excellent positivity from the steering wheel, even if levels of overall feedback are lacking. The steering also feels too light at speed, something that can be remedied with the sport mode in the driver profile selection. Excellent turbine credentials taking a 7-seat SUV into the city is enough to give many drivers sweaty palms, yet the Tiguan Allspace hides its size well. Its turning circle and general levels of agility are on par with smaller cars, plus all-round visibility is surprisingly strong. Because of this, Parking the Tiguan or space in tight spots is relatively easy with standard fit all round parking sensors also giving you that extra bit of guidance. Is it any good off road? We've not driven the Tiguan all space on the rough stuff yet, but previous experience with the regular Tiguan suggests its bigger cousin will also be more than capable of climbing a steep, graggy path or traversing a muddy field, so long as it's fitted with 4 motion all wheel drive.
All such models come with four different settings for the all-wheel drive system, on-road, off-road, off-road, individual and snow. The optional outdoor pack is also available if you intend to give your TIG and all space a more rugged look, and includes an off-road front bumper, off-road chrome door sill protectors and additional front underbody protection. The front underbody guard is also available as a cost option and offers extra engine and transmission underbody protection. Capable tow car The TIG and all space can be fitted with either a fixed or detachable tow bar, with the maximum brake towing weight for the 2.0-litre TDI 154 motion model set at 2,400 kg. This increases to 2,500 kg if you opt for the 2.0-litre by TDI 244 motion version. Easy to adjust, high up driving position good overall control layout, with exceptions 8.0 color touch screen comes as standard with the clean, quality feeling, albeit fairly drab. Design the Tigan All Spaces interior is your standard Volkswagen fare, regardless of which spec you go for. High up driving position all drivers should be able to get comfortable in the Tigan All Space with very little trouble. There's plenty of adjustment in the seat and steering wheel, all centering around the standard high up SUV driving position. No matter where you set the seat and wheel, however, the gear stick, manual or DSG auto, and handbrake are always within easy reach. The view out from all angles is surprisingly good for a car of this size, with smaller than average blind spots, especially around the rear three quarters of the car. Reasonable control layout switches for functions such as the climate control, drive modes, windscreen wipers and headlights are all laid out where you'd expect, so it's a shame that the cruise control buttons are fiddly. Mounted on the wheel, they're not as easy to use as other offerings from the Volkswagen Group and take some getting used to. There's also no audio mute button in sight, something else that other Volkswagen Group brands have no trouble integrating. Volkswagen's active info display is available on the Tigger North Space and replaces irregular dials with a 12.3 inch TFT screen capable of displaying customizable information screens, such as maps or audio information. The graphics are sharp, but the system lags behind Audi's virtual cockpit system for use of friendliness. Largely good quality materials around 90% of the materials in the Tigger North Space's interior feel soft to the touch and expensive, with liberal uses of high quality plastics and brushed metal detailing. However, there are still some decidedly cheap feeling materials on display, with the hard plastics around the central transmission tunnel the most prominent. Decent infotainment system VW's Discover Navigation infotainment system is fitted as standard to the Tigger North Space and boasts an 8.0-inch color touch screen with touch-sensitive buttons on either side of the display. The graphics are sharp and up-to-date, and the menus are easy to understand, yet it would still be easier to operate with a rotary knob-style controller seen on, among others, Audis, BMWs and Mazdas. Pressing the right button on the, admittedly responsive, touch screen is still a hit-and-miss operation. Ride quality good on the whole low levels of road and wind noise just a shame about those noisy diesels the Tigger North Space boasts a largely comfortable and well sorted suspension setup and benefits from minimal levels of road and wind noise. It's just a shame, then, that the diesel engines on offer, especially the most popular 150 and 190 horsepower variants, are disappointingly noisy and unrefined. Good overall ride quality with a longer wheelbase than the regular Tigan, the Tigan All Space produces a slightly better ride quality with greater levels of composure. It's less likely to get unsettled over an uneven piece of road and soaks up the majority of lumps and bumps in the tarmac well. One of the main highlights is how it deals with ice P-day roads or motorways. The damping is pliant enough to remain comfortable yet never feels wallowy or overly soft. Complementing this are hushed levels of road and wind noise up there with the best in class. However, even on the relatively small 18-inch alloy wheels, we still detected a certain harshness to the ride over sharp bumps or potholes. Not the end of the world, but enough to stand out against an otherwise well-sorted ride. Dynamic Chassis Control, DCC, is available as an option and gives the driver a choice between sport or comfort suspension modes. Each setting does make a noticeable difference. Although we're yet to try DCC on UK roads back to back against the standard suspension. Noisy diesel engines both the 150 and 190 horsepower 2.0 litre TDI diesel engines produce plenty of noise when driven around town or when accelerating. Settle into a cruise with the radio on and things do quieten down, but it's obvious that Volkswagen needs to work on insulating the sound from its diesel motors.
Excellent range of standard equipment, three available trim levels, all cars come with SatNav and three zone climate control Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace SUV standard equipment from launch. The Tiguan Allspace is available with two trim levels, SATNAV and SIL, foregoing the lesser S and SA versions available on the regular Tiguan. A sporty R-Line trim will be available to order from March 2018 with exact equipment levels to be confirmed soon. Included as standard with SATNAV spec cars is, three zone climate control an electronic tailgate, automatic headlights and windscreen wipers, auto-dimming rear-view mirror discover navigation infotainment system, with an 8.0-inch color touch screen, sat-nav, Bluetooth phone connectivity, DAB radio, speed limit sign recognition, USB connectivity, X2, Owen, CarNet Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility adaptive cruise control including autonomous emergency braking, driver fatigue detection, electronic parking brake, high beam assist, not on SIL or R-Line models, lane assist and front and rear parking sensors 18-inch Patagonia alloy wheels with self-sealing tires, in the event of a puncture, silver anodized roof rails, halogen clear headlights, a cooled glove box, tray tables on the back of the front seats, cloth seats, 40 hours 20 minutes 40 seconds split folding rear seats on top, or in replacement, of the standard equipment on SANAF models, say L trim bags U, 19-inch alloy wheels, lead rear tail lights, Dynamic light assist, allows main beam to be left on without dazzling other drivers, LED headlights with LED daytime running lights 12.3 inch active info display, Volkswagen's version of Audi's virtual cockpit system, keyless entry, hands-free boot opening, allowing users to wave their foot under the rear bumper to open the boot, heated windscreen washer jets, heated front seats and a panoramic sunroof with LED ambient lighting lounge cloth upholstery with Art Velour's micro fleece, front and rear eating lights X2 on top, or in replacement, of the standard equipment on SANAF models, R-Line trim gets you, 20-inch alloy wheels, sports suspension and stainless steel pedals body colored rear roof spoiler, black front air intake and rear diffuser, R-Line styling pack, including R-Line design front and rear bumpers with C-signature gloss black front air intakes, black wheel arch extensions and body colored side skirts with chrome trim, R-Line badging on front panels aluminium look decorative inserts in dash and door panels, black roof lining, Leather trim 3 spoke multifunction steering wheel with aluminium inserts and R Line logo race cloth upholstery with microfiber, front seats with R Line logo on seat backrest, unique R Line door sill protectors, Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace SUV accessories. If the Tiguan Allspace is generous standard kit levels and quite enough, then there's a broad selection of optional extras to choose from. Highlights include the outdoor pack for drivers who'll frequently take their Tiguan Allspace on the rough stuff. This includes an off-road front bumper, off-road chrome door sill protectors and additional front underbody protection. Dynamic chassis control, DCC, adaptive suspension electric front seats with 12-way adjustment and massage function, heated outer rear seats, also available as part of the winter pack, and Vienna leather upholstery disc cover navigation pro with a larger 9.2-inch touchscreen, voice-activated control system, gesture control, control functions such as volume and track selection with gestures, and wireless smartphone charger Dyn Audio Excite upgraded stereo system with 9 speakers, 400 watt output, subwoofer and Dolby Pro Logic surround sound head up display, area view with park assist, providing a 360 degree view of the car when parking, plus assisted steering to guide the car into a space trailer assist, automatically controls reverse guidance of vehicle and trailer, tow bar, fixed or detachable a choice of alloy wheels and paint colors, no official Euro and cap safety rating yet regular Tiguan scored the full 5 stars only 2 ISO fix points being a family car the Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace comes with an excellent range of standard safety equipment, including multiple airbags, adaptive cruise control and autonomous emergency braking. Although the Tiguan Allspace is yet to be tested by Euro and cap, the regular Tiguan, on which it is heavily based scores the full five stars with particular merit attached to its protection of adult occupants in the event of a crash. Child occupant results were also impressive, scoring 80% in crash tests. Pedestrians are also catered for, with active bonnet mounts, which lift the body panel up and away from the engine in the event of a frontal collision, reducing their risk of injury. Side scan is available as an optional extra, and adds lane departure warning with blind spot monitoring and traffic sign recognition the latter only available in conjunction with the Discover Navigation Pro infotainment system. How many ISOFIX car seats can I fit in a Volkswagen Tiguan or Space?
like the regular TIG and there are two isofix points on the outer rear seats. Disappointingly, for a seven-seat family car there's no option to have additional isofix points on the passenger seat or third row seats. However, fitting child seats should be an essential thanks to wide opening rear doors affording the user bags of space to work with. Tons of space in the second and third row seats excellent cabin storage space all round boot is large, but not quite as big as the Skoda Kodiak's excellent passenger space, so long as you're not in the third row there's a generous amount of space in both the front and second row seats of the Tiggan all space. Even those well over 6 foot tall will have no trouble threading themselves behind the wheel or into the passenger seat. In the second row of seats it's largely the same story. Legroom is deeply impressive, even with taller occupants sitting in front, while headroom is generous. There's space to sit 3 adults across the second row in relative comfort, too. However, we noted that with the panoramic sunroof in place, standard on saw models, those over 6 foot tall may feel a touch claustrophobic with the headlining brushing against the top of their heads. Unfortunately, space in the third row of seats is acceptable if you're under 5 feet 2 inches but pretty poor otherwise, even with the second row seats slid forward to their furthest setting. Climbing into the rearmost seats is also a task best suited to children. Plenty of cabin storage space no matter where you are in the Tiggan all space, apart from the third row of seats, maybe. There's a useful amount of storage space within the cabin. Up front, there's large door pockets, a decent sized glove box, central armrest and center console storage area. Another clever use of space is just behind the gear lever, where foldable cup holders can be used when needed and then simply put away again to create another storage cubby. Out back the door pockets are commodious, plus there's a duo of cup holders in the central armrest. Fold away tray tables, with additional cup holders are another useful feature for families, as is the 12 volt adapter, USB plug and climate control in the rear. Finally, cars fitted without the panoramic sunroof benefit from two additional storage spaces in the roof. Every Tiggan all space comes as standard with all round parking sensors, complemented by a visual display on the car's infotainment screen. This, paired with the impressively small blind spots means it's a lot easier to maneuver than its 4.7 meter length would suggest. As an optional aid, area view displays a 360 degree exterior view of the car on the main touch screen, allowing the driver to see where they are relative to the curb and other objects they'd usually have trouble seeing. Park Assist, which controls the steering to aid parallel or bay parking, is another optional extra and can be chosen in conjunction with area view or a rear view camera. Folding the second and third, or just the third, row of seats down liberates oodles of space for carrying dogs or making trips to do the rubbish tip. With all seven seats upright there's still a usable 230 litres, although this isn't quite as much as in the Skoda Kodiak. Handily, there's a place under the boot floor to store the rear parcel shelf although the whole setup does look a little messy with the third row of seats folded down. 40 hours 20 minutes 40 seconds split folding second row seats are a plus for flexibility, as is their ability to slide forwards and backwards. Is it easy to convert to and from seven seat mode? You need a little bit of upper body strength, but it's an easy process with no complex levers or switches to fiddle around with. To erect the third row, simply remove the parcel shelf, if it's in place, and pull the strap on each individual seat until they're all upright. Folding them down again is simply a case of flicking a lever on the back of the seat and simultaneously pushing the whole thing forwards.